Hey my cookies, today I'm showing you how I make cottage pie. Now it's pretty much shepherd's pie, but you use beef instead of the lamb. And I know people get real technical about that. I don't care what you call it, just as long as you call it delicious, because that's what it is. Let's cook. We're going to start off with our onion, celery, and carrots. I'm going to break out my little cheese grater here and use that to grate my carrots. We want our onion and celery to be very finely chopped. I started to grate my onions and I went to crying and burning and all that. I just put it in my Ninja. Just make sure it's very finely chopped. Now let's head to the stove. Using my well seasoned cast iron skillet, if you're using anything differently then add a little bit of oil. I'm going to start browning my beef. Now I'm using a very lean ground beef. It's like a 93.7 so it's only 7% fat in here. We don't want a greasy shepherd's or cottage pie. Again, I'm using ground beef, so this is technically a cottage pie. If you like lamb, then you can use lamb in this and it will be shepherd's pie. But lamb chop was my homeboy growing up, so I, I, I didn't want to use lamb. We're making cottage pie. Okay, so now I have browned my meat, and I'm just going to add in the vegetables to it. And once I add all the vegetables, I'm going to season it with some salt just so they can release that moisture and cook them until everything is nice and tender. Off camera, I added in some minced garlic as well. Now right here, I'm just adding in my onion and garlic powders. And sorry about that little shake. I kicked my tripod. Y'all know I'm clumsy. And now I'm adding in some all-purpose flour. This is going to coat our beef and thicken up the gravy so it's nice and minced together. In a shepherd's pie or cottage pie, you don't want it to be stew-like. You want it to be minced. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So just add in that flour gradually, stirring in between. Make sure it coats the meat. Now I'm adding in the W sauce. Y'all won't catch me slipping on today. Oh no. Some tomato paste. Once we stir in that tomato paste, we're going to pour in some dry red wine. I'm using Merlot. And I can't forget my fresh thyme and rosemary. After that wine reduces, we're going to add in some beef broth, stir it in, and then allow it to thicken. This is the consistency we were looking for. I'm not using peas, but if you'd like to, you can definitely add some frozen peas. At this point, turn off the heat and set it aside. While working on the meat, I was cooking some potatoes. I was boiling them in some salted water. When they were fork tender, I drained them and put them back in the pot. With the heat set on low, I used my 1953 potato masher and mashed my potatoes. It's alright y'all, they got the job done. Then I added butter, cream cheese, some garlic powder, some salt, and some parsley and continued to mash it all together until that cream cheese and butter melted into the potatoes. Now we're going to add some Parmesan cheese and a splash of cream to the potatoes. Keep in mind this is comfort food and these potatoes are sinful and sexy, okay? Now taste and adjust seasoning. Make sure it's right. Then add in one egg yolk and mix it well until you can no longer see it. If you weren't using an oven safe skillet, then transfer this meat mixture into a casserole dish and then start to dollop the potatoes on top. You don't want to just dump it on there and disrupt the meat, but just place it in dollops. Then use a fork. I'm using a little mini spatula and smooth out those potatoes really well. You can kind of, you know, rough it up a little bit, make it look cute. And I'm just going to sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese on top so that it browns well. Now place it on the top rack of your 375 degree heated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's as browned at the top as you desire. And then cookies, prepare for comfort food heaven. This stuff is so doggone delicious. The full link to the recipe will be down there in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a recipe. Click that bell. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I have to eat this stuff. Look how good that looks. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Until next time, be blessed.